Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to Azure Talk. So today uh, we are here to show you about how you can add the additional disk. So normally in a virtual machine, uh, in Azure virtual machines, how you can actually add a extra disk. So why it, it is necessary? So it can be a, a case wherein uh, you have created uh, a server and now you need to increase the disk space. So I will just uh, go ahead and show you on the demo. So just follow me. So in your screen, uh, on this screen, hope you can see my screen and on this screen, I need to create one uh, resource group. So first I will try to create a complete virtual machine. And once the virtual machine is created with only one or uh, only one disk, I will show you what, what differences and how we can add actually a uh, extra disk to it. So you might see that when a system is created, it will have the C drive and a D drive. D drive will be uh, uh, will be a temp disk. And uh, what about the other disk which we want to add it? Okay, so I will just show you. Uh, let me make it uh, the. Uh, I will just make name of the add VM resource group, and then I will try to go ahead and say server. I just put my name and say review and create. So this is the resource group. It is very easy to create. Tags is for uh, creating uh, uh, like you need to uh, give the unique representation of to which particular uh, this particular uh, maybe you might have some customer name or maybe some user name or a team's name. You can do it. No problem. And go ahead and create a resource. So I will just say I need a uh, Windows Server 2019. And uh, let me say add VM and uh, make it a uh, my default location. And I will say no availability. I don't want it. Uh, the operating system will remain as Windows Server 2019 data center. And uh, the CPU, I would go for the very lesser CPU. I don't want to uh, utilize the uh, extra amount to creating. In case I need, I will just uh, increase the uh, CPU and RAM. You know how we can do it. I will show that as well. I will just make it as Azure user and I will make the password like this. And uh, same way, I have to repeat the password. Okay, so you can keep the passwords uh, safe on the notepad since this password is known to me. So I'm not saving it right now, but you can definitely do it. So uh, I have the uh, few benefits of licenses, so I can do that. Uh, make sure that uh, if you have Windows Server licenses, then only you check this for production. Uh, for normal uh, POCs and all, it should work. So now I will use the standard SSD and uh, I will leave the standard encryption and then I will go for the next. So over here, I have my default virtual network. Subnet is also defined. Public IP is also there and uh, the NIC which I'm looking for the uh, network security group NSG. I will just make it as the basic and the allowed inbound port, port, uh, ports is uh, 3389 and I will say Go for the management tab and I will say that it is uh, it is normal. I don't want to change anything right now. Uh, the identity is something very new. I will come back to this and Azure uh, AD. This is something also very good and new thing. Uh, I will come back to this. I will create a separate uh, uh, separate video on this. And for auto shutdown, let me uh, go for the auto shutdown. I will make the auto shutdown off around uh, right now. It is uh, 947. I will go for 1030. By 1030, I will be able to finish my video. So I don't want to go into an extra charge of billing because uh, this is my free subscription. But still, if that consumption is uh, used, then it will be an issue for me. So right now, uh, I don't want. Uh, so I will get the alerts on my email address. I don't want to enable the backup right now. No guest operating system updates and automatic. I've made it to automatic. Go to next. And I don't want to have the uh, extension extra and I, I will just go and say next tax same tax I will use I will say server and I will use Umesh so basically this what is happening is this is running the validation 
and uh, while running the validation it will show you the uh, cost of the resources also okay it is just giving you resources cost per hour you can share it with your management if you need and go ahead and click this server so it will go to deployment state while it is deploying i will just pause for pause pause this video thank you so perfect uh, the deployment was successful done within i think a couple of seconds so i will go for the resource and this is my resource so this name is very long because it's it's coming from deployment i will just go to home and just say add vm uh, group and then i will go to the virtual machine it should happen with the correct name and then i will try to connect it so i will just show you why we need extra device uh, extra drives let me download okay so extra uh, drives it might be a case that uh, you are building a production system or you it might be a case that you are building some of the uh, systems which are which require extra disk like maybe uh, the sql server and all so that in that case it might require so i will just say azure uh, um, user the name and the password was uh, this i think i must use it as base so this is something going let's say connect okay so why i used uh, dot and forward slash because to make it as a uh, no domain and log uh, log in as a local administrator so here we go we are able to log in perfect so what happens with this is um, i know uh, i've been using the uh, very lowest pricing but it should work wonderful so i will go to start and show you the current disk that what all disk it has it will have the two disk c drive as the os disk and uh, the d drive as a temp drive temp drive means temporary drive whatever uh, um, so basically d drive should not be used or if you are using that means there will be a loss of the data so if you see d drive is already uh, showing you as a temporary storage and we have the 126 gb of windows operating system disk now what happens is this disk might not be very sufficient for production system build when you require the databases uh, on the like backup on the different uh, disk then again logs files on the different disk and then data on the different disk so what i will show you i will just show you on the uh, disk management you see only you will see only two disk over here one is your uh, the basic disk and second one is your uh, online basic disk is uh, this is the temporary storage now if you see we are we are only having two disk basic disk so what i will do i will go ahead and uh, try to go to the home and i will look for the disk um, on the vm i will go ahead and see for the uh, disk so these are the disk which is already available this is the disk which is associated with the operating system disk now uh, we have another uh, 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 feature which talks about the data disk so how we can use the data disk if we have the existing disk we can do it like this if you are not having the existing disk you can you would like to create it we just make it like this so let me get rid of all this too and try to create a new disk so i will make it as uh, backup and then disk size should be of around uh, 1024 uh 10 uh, um, 1024 okay and uh, yeah and then again i need to one more uh, lun basically this is in the older terms it is called lun so lun is basically logical uh, unit number of the data disk that's it okay and uh, next i will make the disk name as uh, data 
so i'm just considering this that it might be a database uh, system you are building okay now i will have one more disk as uh, temp db okay and then again uh, i will make it as this capacity same way i will have my one more called logs okay so i will make it as same capacity and then i will say save so basically this is creating the disk and it will automatically attach the disk as well now once this is done we need to uh, restart the system uh, like in previous i have seen that we need to restart the system or we need to go ahead and look for the uh, open this again it might should work or if 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 doesn't work we will try to restart the system so we should go to the disk management and look for the disk so you you can see now that this where the disk added we added four disk the four disk is available over here now make sense so without restarting it works so that is the best uh, on azure uh, feature and uh, over here i have just clicked on add disk and this disk are available to use okay so right now they are all online i just so these are all unall unallocated if you see here you will not uh, get the disk details over here what you have to do for the first time you need to right click and then say sample volume and say click next and make a proper drive so let's suppose i am making as data next finish same way at the end it will format same way i have to do with the other disk as well i will just say a uh, new volume and say next 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 and over here over here i will say um backup and next finish on the fourth disk i will go ahead and say new sample volume again and i will say next next this drive letter also you can change it like if you want to make it a you can make it a a kind of uh, the choicing of the uh, the drive letter definitely c and d drive are reserved but uh, you can all use until z so volume level uh, i made it data i made it backup i need to make it as uh, the log files sorry it was temp db and then say next finish there is no enough space available on the disk to complete the operation so i'm not sure why it is coming let me make it again i will make it as temp db and see if that works yeah looks like it will work and then last one i will just say new volume go next next uh next and then say that it will be a uh, log files yes just close it and open the uh, file explorer again you will see your all four disk attached let me open it again ah so one disk is missing let me see what happened with that okay so we have 1234 okay it might be a case that it has missed the drive letter i'm just adding it yes so it should be now available yeah so all this is about 1 terabyte it is available okay perfect so 
uh, I think our demo is completed, but uh, I promised you to show uh, the one of the uh, how we can change the size of this of uh, this machine once this is done. So if you see this machine is a standard DS one V two. Now if you want to change this machine without uh, basically it will take a reboot, but basically uh, without deleting it, you can just go for the size and do a resizing. Uh, right now if you see in the top it is having the ds1 v2 which is this and uh, you might go to uh, take b series and make it as uh, b4 ms and i will just say size it okay so i'm dead sure that it will go off yes it went off but uh, no worries i have the uh, downloaded files i will just say open it it should be very easy it should be uh, done within seconds so i will make it ready for it okay so that was the burning uh, question normally people ask that how we can resize it first thing the second thing is uh, how we can add the additional disks to it Okay, so uh, with Azure, we can do a lot many things, but uh, definitely uh, those who are picking up from beginning, then this is the tutorial which they need to go with it. So it is uh, resized now successfully. I will just say connect. Yeah, so this is already uh, saved username. I will just try to punch in my password and uh, it should be available to see. So this system is uh, quite uh, very big, like it is having uh, four CPUs and 16 GB of RAM. So it is much faster. It did not give any black screen and it is working well. And even all these drives will be available. Okay, so if you go to the file explorer. Okay, so it will have complete details as in it is, it was saved. So thank you all. Today's uh, video is done successfully. Uh, demo is also completed. And in case you have any other question or you, you would like to give me suggestions, please uh, keep on uh, the comment box uh, rolling in and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.